Hello guys, welcome back to Country Kid Gaming as we continue on New Game Plus. We're about to do Stonefish and Coffin. I'm gonna have to delete some of my saves after this session. Tomorrow's at the wedding day, so that's what I'll probably do tomorrow. So I can get rid of the stuff I've already used for thumbnails. Get rid of all of those. Because I stopped to look at this sign, or else it wouldn't have gotten me. This is complete waste, so we'll leave it alone. Can't remember what the item was. Let's take those. Who knows? May not be bad. I may be able to do it. So we'll find out. But if I feel like my stamina's not good enough, we'll take a bet. It's really going to depend on when I fight the boss, to be honest. gonna be if the boss uh has too much stamina to dodge and use two colossus that'll be where the real problem is
I don't need to go the other way anyway, because I got this spell, so... It's crazy how this says this was used as a, a arrowhead. So this was basically it says a, it has to be a giant. This says it's an old god. It has to be like a giant god because I don't mean giant as a giant race of gods, but I'm saying like the god itself had to be pretty big for this to be considered an arrowhead from a boat. You know what I mean? That's bigger than a great boat. It's like a I don't know what you would call it. I know what I would call it, but I don't know what they would deem bows bigger than gray bows. I guess you can call it a colossal bow. That would have been a crazy weapon type. I can imagine, like, it would take you forever just to load the arrow, but it'd probably do at least a thousand damage <laughs> per shot or more. It had to be more than a thousand because even great bows can do a thousand depending on how you set your build up. So depending on the enemy, so, it'll probably be devastating. Like I would probably say the weak shot would be like a thousand, and then, but for most enemies, it'd probably be somewhere between two thousand to three thousand damage, no matter what. Just for a regular colossal arrow, and then if you had a special colossal arrows. I can see them easily doing like 7,000, 8,000 damage. That's just me hopeful wishing though. definitely just me hopeful wishing because when I think about it most great bows the arrows they hit like weak enemies for a couple thousand but for like bosses it's usually somewhere between 600 to a thousand depending on the boss and sometimes a little bit more than a thousand so a colossal arrow will have to hit a boss for somewhere between a thousand or three thousand for the regular arrow this is what in my mind what I would think and then somewhere between 5,000 to 7,000 if it's like a depending on the type of arrow it would be in the weakness of the boss but that would be too disgusting It's all good. I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad at you, brother. I'm not even mad at you.
hate these guys. The processing skeletons. Time for your bull crap. Hey, little goodies, drop me some stuff. Just this once, do it on the first try. Come on, little goodies. Hey, when are you dead? Just one. So sad. It's crazy how some of y'all survived the way we go like that. One of the easiest places to form with the wave of gold though, just keep doing it over and over. And if you get any type of magical drop, so the, you know, if you've been watching my videos, that's what I call the purple drops. You know, we got the white drops, the purple drops, and then we got the gold drops. So normal, magical, and legendary drops. So all you gotta do is kill them, and if you see a, it's glowing purple, that lets you know you have one of those. So you can craft that item, but that's only if you are interested in crafting these. Because as long as you got these and these together, you have infinite FP. So.
got a way to put I'm also saved on my Xbox, so I'll have it for later. I think that's the fastest we ever killed him. I may have killed him faster the very first time I fought him, but I can't remember. So nasty on the low. He sound like a big creep. This area doesn't take long at all to do, so... I think just Raru base, the ancient ruins, and then an air limb, right? I'm just gonna stick to one. Chill out. I left you guys completely alone. Perfumers, they always do a lot of damage, even on regular. The regular game. It doesn't matter if it's a new game. Can I still rock everything? 
exception of this one. I need three to decks. Okay. Oh, my snake button worked for once. Gotcha. Don't have your shield on. Without your shield, you ain't nothing. for the other one or I need some more oh, I need some more B ones I gotta go load up I'll kill two more? That's crazy. You would think that with my spirit, my ash blushing at 10, that this attack would actually do some damage, <laughs> but it still doesn't. 
But you would think that it would. Since it's supposed to boast a attack of um, ashes in your spirit in your um, special seed. You would think that once they give him an attack that it would somehow scale with that, but it doesn't. He just gets more health and that's all of it. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight you all. Cause y'all keep killing Torn. I told you how to leave Torn alone. I didn't want to fight you all. Hello. Thanks for your beast horns. The fact that you lose all your rooms for that is crazy, though. I kind of forgot that. I don't know if you lose all your rooms with the, the Irish one. Let's see if uh, this weapon is free or do I have to have rooms for it? It's free. Time out. I was supposed to get the spell of this character or not. Yeah. I'm going to have to duplicate that remembrance now. I've uh, now got two of these. Uh, let me do that real quick. I kind of forgot to get this spell. I, forgot that I had that on my mage character. <laughs> Not this character. This character, I need to get all the other stuff first. And then I can duplicate whatever weapons I want later. It's all good. I think there's a total of eight mausoleums now. Three from the DLC and either it's either five or six from the base game. But it may be let's see one two minor mausoleums. Two over here, which makes three. A big mausoleum over here, which makes four. I'm trying to think. It's one. Two. Number bad. Two. Three, four. And then two minor. I think that's what it is. So maybe seven in total. And then two minor. I actually believe this or not. Let's check and see what the minors are. Well, no, I haven't beat all the um, the base game bosses yet. So they're not going to be popping up, I don't think.
Oh, okay. So the DLC bosses count as miners. Okay. So that's a total of nine. Four big ones, three to DLC, and then two of these. If I'm if I remember, there's not one in Kalid. I don't remember there being one in this area. Or in the mountain. I think it's just the two here. The one here and the one here. Yeah, so four mausoleums. I'd use one. Three in the DLC. So I have three. It's two plus five. Yeah. So I should have eight left because I used one already. Hmm. I got both of these already. I can't remember what it was. Got this. Just did that. Um, got both of those. Got that. Yeah. yeah, I should be straight now. I don't remember what the Divine Beast is other than the Talisman. What is it? Because it's not the storm. You get that another way. Uh, not the feathers. Hold on, let me look it up real quick. Is it a weapon for the Divine Beast? No, it's not a weapon. You automatically get the head. That automatically drops. So. Cause I remember I was like, dang, we we faced two dancing uh, Divine Beasts and we didn't get nothing for the well the second one. I think you get us. You get the the storm spell, the incantation. That's what it is. But for the first one, what is the other item that you can get for the remembrance? I remember the storm talisman, but the first time I didn't get the storm talisman, I got something else. Oh, the Divine Beast Frost Stamp. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. Then, is there anything I want to... Uh, this is already comes to... I already accidentally got two of these. Um, do I want two of his weapons? I want second sunflower. His is a a great sword. Two staffs. No, her staff it doesn't do any scaling. It's just a you can use a uh, infinite faith. So no, I don't think there's no need to do any of these. Because I'm trying to think what I want to of his weapon. Hmm. Maybe on this one, but I'm going to wait. Until I finish the base game and stuff and see what else I want. Because I I think I need to do... Oh, never mind. You can only get one thing per playthrough. So I can't get a, a second... Um, I can't remember what the fist weapon is from Godric. What is the <coughs> the dragon fist weapon? I can't remember what it's called. It's not called Commanding Neil. That's like the Ash of War for his weapon. Um, is, is it Behold? It's something. I can't remember what it's called. But that's... I can't get that display through because I messed up the last one. I only have one of them. I was trying to get a second one, but I messed up how I did it. Anyways. Yeah, so I think there's nine mausoleums. Let me know if I'm missing one, because they only added three in the DLC. And there were two minor ones, which the ones we just visited. And then I'm pretty sure it's just one down here, because I got a marked on a map. This one up here, which makes two, and then there were two over here. One at the church right here, and then 
one in front of castle so I don't have this mark for some reason on this side I have the other ones marked but yeah so that would just be one two three four major ones and two minor ones the two minor ones are for like the beast of a steel and then whatever the boss is down here the reindeer the special reindeer or whatever it's called is it the special beast I know those are the ones Godric used to be one but they changed it so now it's not one I don't think I'm missing a, a another one over here I think it's just these ones and the two minor ones but let me know down below if I'm missing one I think it's a total of nine mausoleums all together now even though for the DLC it's more like a, a coffin but it's basically a mausoleum still I'm gonna call it that you had me. I guess it's one of the only Ash of Wars I don't need duplicates of because it only works on throwing daggers, so there really ain't no point to get duplicates of it. Line. that you have it buddy I think it's just a smith and stone so I'm not too worried about that this is the forge with the most smithing weapons isn't it hold on one second my brother's calling me hello I'm back. He was asking me, was I going to take pictures at the wedding tomorrow, but I ain't got my camera no more. I got to give me another one. It's sad, too. <laughs> I usually always be it. You know what I'm saying? Snap, snap, snap. My, uh, I took my... That was my brother who's already married. And, um... I took his pictures for his wedding. That was, like, two years ago. My other brother's getting married tomorrow. And, uh... But I ain't take pictures of this one because I ain't got a camera for that. I'll probably take some on my phone, but you know, not nothing to take professional because I am a photographer as well. But I had went on hiatus after I got hurt, so at my last job. But that's another long story I already talked about before. Basically, I ain't taking no pictures tomorrow, so I'm sorry he really wanted to know. And then uh, I guess after the wedding, he was like, <coughs> if I wanted to take uh, some more pictures for them or whatnot. But I said, like, I ain't got my camera, I would though. I do whatever I can for family. And yeah, for people in general, but definitely family, you know. You can't treat strangers better than your family. 
can treat some strangers like family when there's a proper time for it. But don't ever mistreat your family. If you got good family, you know what I mean? And even if you don't got good family, try not to do evil for evil, you know? Let the world bless you back the way you did it. Be bitter than them. Be bigger and better. Not like I'm a better person, just be the better person in a sense. Like be the bigger person, I guess you could say. Because uh, that's how you do better than people. You don't have to say you're better than people in order to just be the bigger person. Some people don't know how to do that, though. Now I got a second smooth Thanks, I can do it with those. Guys are so annoying.
much is this guard boost? 37. I don't think I'll deal with two of those. Might end up being a problem if I do that. Especially since I can't change the Ash of War on there. I know I'm hearing stuff wrong. It's because I have my headphones on wrong. I'm hearing stuff in the wrong ear. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, why did I hear somebody crawling behind me and there ain't nothing behind me? It's in front of me. <laughs> it's when I had stopped to talk to my brother. Next episode, let's see. I need some to stick people with. How much is do I have it? The dagger. Let's turn on it. If I put this in this hand, will my Asher War be the discus hurl? Even if I. Okay, yeah, it would be. Okay. I'm gonna focus on the shield next one. But uh 
I need to have some for if I get a critical to be able to hit people with. It's only three FP plus. Two. I wonder if this is considered a precision aim toss. No, I don't think so. And this doesn't work because it's already too low. So not the this one on. I really don't like this armor, like how big it is. If it was skinnier, if it actually was skinny like my, like the body that I got set up, that's why I make the character skinny because a lot of the ones look better when they're skinny. That would be better. Hmm. Right, we'll go to what I was gonna rock before. I'm gonna probably just replace this with poise. Actually, now I think about it, I may even wanna... Wrath of Dragon, that's what it's called. I'm thinking about the Ash of War, Bear Witness, that's what I was thinking. Um, 140... Do I have the rooms? No, I don't have the rooms to do this one. Okay, we'll do this one for now. Well, I took you now, man, to lay out your own. Now that I think about it, I really don't need to use this one because this is 110. So if we got something that's better than 110. This is 110. No, I've seen another one. This is 110. That's surprising. Not really, because it's got that sleep effect. This is 110. We've already used that. Could do the combo. Is the other spear better? It's a great spear.
Tell the tech does uh, onslaught of the techs. Well, I took you for no matter, it's all day out, you're up. Oh, no rooms. I messed up too because I already used my pre remembrance. I think this one's gonna cost rooms, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. It's all good. So we're gonna use this as backup for um, basically whenever we break somebody's stance. But the goal is just use the discus, or, and since we're getting the buff for two hand, plus this buff, plus this buff, I think it's 10, 10, somewhere between 10 and 20%, put both of these together. So both of these together would be either 20% or 30% together. And then we get this, I think the regular one is 10, I think this one is 25 or 20, because it says greatly boosts and you can get a smaller shard. So... And since it's got strength scaling, it does better if you two hand it too. On top of that. Like I said, when we break somebody's stance, we'll use a spear. And then we also can just use a spear whenever I decide to switch it up. So it's gonna be the next build. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming along the journey with me as we continue on playing New Game Plus. I love you guys, and I'll see you later.